Hey guys, it's time for my monthly Yes Doll video, yay! But anyways, um, so this time I got to try out a bunch of Jill Stewart cosmetics. If you guys aren't familiar with Jill Stewart cosmetics, their packaging is gorgeous. It's like princess makeup, it's so pretty. Um, and if you never heard about it, that's fine. You know, I never heard about it either until I'd seen it on a lot of beauty blogs. Because it's honestly not that popular in the United States. I do believe there are some counters laid out throughout the United States, but I've never even seen a counter. Um, they're more popular in Asia, and they brought it to the United States in about 2008 or so, but it's still not very widely distributed. It's still kind of hard to get your hands on. Um, I'm going to leave the links to all the products down in the description box. And I'm also going to upload pictures of everything onto my blog spot. So if you're like curious about anything while I talk about it, then you guys can find it there. But anyways, I'm going to first start off with lip products. So there's two different kind of lip glosses they have. They have these jelly lip glosses that come in you know, your traditional lip gloss tube. And they have this really pretty pink gemstone on top. And they also have these lip lusters. This one's in Virgin Kiss. And then the two lip glosses, the jelly lip glosses I got, are in Peach Melba, number two, and Dolly Kiss, 03. The Virgin Kiss lip luster looks like this. This kind of milky, strawberry pink. On your lips, though, I wouldn't say it's that milky. Like, when I take a picture of it, it looks a little bit milky. But in real life, it just kind of looks clear. It doesn't really look that milky. It doesn't really change your lip color. So people may not like this um, for that reason. And then they have a little applicator like that. This one doesn't have a little gem on it, but everything Jill Stewart is just really prettily decorated. I don't know if you guys can see. Everything. They just pay so much attention to detail with Jill Stewart products. And I'll also have all the prices listed down in the description box as well. But just know that this is a luxury brand. This is definitely a high-end brand. Um, you know, it's kind of pricey, I'm not going to lie. You know, if luxury cosmetics aren't your thing, then that's fine, you know, who cares. But for those of you guys that do appreciate it, you know, they do definitely make up for it. And so, the jelly lip glosses I think I prefer over the lip lusters just because um, these formula of these lip glosses are very, very thick. But because they're thick, they're very, very long wearing. But um, I find it kind of hard to take the wand out of the lip luster. And since that one kind of more clear. I feel like people wouldn't like it as much. I feel like people would like these more, even though, you know, some people do prefer the wand. But I just kind of prefer this packaging. And we have those beautiful little jewels on top. And even the caps have things embroidered into it. Like, even if you look at the boxes of the products, it's embossed. Isn't that beautiful? So Peach Melba looks like this. It's what I have on my lips right now. It's the only thing I have on my lips. Um, everything Jill Stewart, when you first use it, especially you notice this the lip products because, you know, they're touching your mouth. They have this kind of faint rose-like smell. If you've ever had these rose pastilles, um, pastilles, I don't know how to say it anymore. But anyways, they're like these little rose candies. And it came with a little aniseed inside. Um, and they're like white. And they came in this little white tin with purple flowers all over it. It tastes just like that. And I really liked that candy, that floral candy. I don't know if other people would like it. I usually don't like floral tasting stuff. But it does definitely have a little bit of a flowery taste to it and smell. But it's really, really light. It's not that bad. And this one's just a little bit of a tint. It doesn't really change your lips. I mean, all the lip products for the most part aren't that pigmented. Um, they're definitely more light. But that's kind of more in tune with Japanese cosmetics. You know, a lot of the times they don't have like super loud stuff going on. And this one definitely, out of all the three, changes your lip color the most. It's like this hot pink. But even then, it's still a pretty light tint. It doesn't really change your lips that much. But like I said, it's very, very thick. But I like it because it just means that it's going to wear longer. But it's not sticky. Like, if I do this, it doesn't feel sticky. So that's good. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is their blush compact. Now, they have two different kind of blushes. They have one blush that's this one small round compact. And it's split into two parts. And they have two different colors. I didn't really want that one because I feel like it's kind of messy. Because that blush is actually a loose blush. And it has a little cover on top that covers the sift. And, um... I definitely prefer this one because it's actually pressed and it has four different colors as opposed to two and I like the brush better. So this is what the blush compact looks like. Mine is a milky strawberry and can I just talk about how pretty this is for a second? So even look at the brush. The brush has a little gem right there and the gem is actually a knob and what you do is you flip it upside down and then out pops this little goat hair blush brush. You can actually detach it, by the way. You can definitely detach it from this. There's a little hook claw clasp right there to detach it. But it's just so pretty. I don't know. I'm obsessed with Jill Stewart packaging. You feel like a princess. And a lot of people, I think, would think, well, why do you care so much about the packaging? I think packaging is important. Um, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of Chanel Cosmetics, if you've ever asked me. But I feel like half of the fun of Chanel Cosmetics is looking at it, you know. I feel like half of the fun of having cosmetics in general is putting them on and looking at it. Just collecting it, you know, the fact of having it. And Jill Stewart's really, really good just because it's it's so pretty. Here you guys go. So this is what it looks like on the inside. So you have your creamy highlight, and then you have this light pink dusty color. 
then you have this cantaloupe looking color blush and then a hot pink blush and it's all really pigmented like I said I'll have swatches down on my blog and it's so pretty looking it even has little designs in it. it's so pretty I don't want to use it almost um, but the wear on these is really good too it's really finely milled it's super pretty it smells really nice too it, everything has that same kind of rose smell to it but I definitely prefer the blush compacts just because you know you get more colors it's more travel friendly you know I travel a lot so I don't really want to have a loose blush just hanging out and if you flip around the back side of that blush it's just kind of clear I'm not a fan of the two color blushes but I definitely am obsessed with these ones I love how it comes with your own brush as well the next thing I got was Jill Stewart eyeshadow quad and mine is an eternal platinum and this is what it looks like MC look at that cover tell me that's not really beautiful it's so pretty. It's a good weight as well. I'm just, I don't know, I'm obsessed with their packaging. And it comes with a little sponge applicator, which I think is kind of useless. And then you have a frosty pink shade, a frosty silver shade, this gorgeous bronze shade, so appropriate for summer. You know, it's about that time. And then here you have like a dark silver. I don't know. I'm just super obsessed with all their cosmetics. It's so pretty. These are super pigmented, like so pigmented. All I did when I swatched them when I, for the pictures on my blog, I just, you know, dip my finger like this and I just, psh, they're so pigmented, and the staying power is really good, too. You're not going to find a whole lot of harsh colors in the Jill Stewart quads. They have a lot of different quads, too, but this is just the one that appealed to me the most, because I feel like it's definitely, like, I've kind of been getting into lighter eyeshadow lately. The last two things I got were two nail polishes. So this is what the nail polish looks like. They also come with a little gem on top. The ones I got were Marshmallow Bonbon and Dolly Bloom. This is Dolly Bloom. This is Marshmallow Bonbon. Marshmallow Bonbon is honestly a lot like the nail polish version of Peach Melba, where it's kind of clear, but then it has all these really, really fine peach iridescent glitters in it. Or this one is more of a pink iridescent glitter, and the Peach Melba lip gloss is more of a peach iridescent glitter. But it has this really pretty, finely milled glitter. I probably wouldn't wear this color by itself, though. I put this over a light pink, and it looked a lot better. And one of the things I really like about this nail polish is the brush. The brush is really soft and easy to use. It reminds me of the OPI brush, kind of a little bit wider. And it's just really nice to use. And then Dolly Kiss is this hot pink opaque color. Um, they take about two coats to become totally opaque. Like I said, I'd probably wear the Peach Melba just as a top coat over another light pink nail polish. Um, they last a pretty long time. They last about as long as an OPI polish too. I would say about five days to a week without chipping. So it's really, really good. I mean, even the nail polishes have a little bit of the rose scent as well after you paint your nails. I mean, don't be like sniffing it, you know? Don't open it up and sniff it to see if you can smell it. It's really bad. But after you paint your nails, if you smell it, you can still kind of smell it. So that's kind of cool. Um, like I said, I think if I were to choose any product that I probably would pass on next time, it'd probably be the Jill Stewart Lip Luster, just at least in this color. I feel like since the formulation's really thick too, it's kind of hard to get the wand out. But everything else, I really, really liked. Um, if you want like a really clear lip gloss, then I would definitely get this. But unless you're kind of steering away from a clear lip gloss, then maybe pass on this one. It's really fun testing out all these products. They're very, very long lasting. You know, everything from the nail polishes to the blushes to the lip glosses, just everything lasts a very long time. Um, and it's very pigmented and pretty. If you're trying to look for a a lot of loud, loud, bright colors, then you're probably not going to find it in the Jill Stewart line. But if you guys like soft, feminine makeup, then Jill Stewart's definitely a good one to go with. So this is my live version of the swatches. I'll also have the swatches on my blog spot, and I'll link that below. Ignore my parrot wound, by the way. But, um, so that's the eyeshadow quad on top. And this is the blush palette on the bottom. Here, I just wanted to do a close-up of all the details and packaging. So all of the nail polishes and lip glosses come with this tiny little Swarovski gem on the top. It's pink. Jill Stewart embroidered into everything. Here's one of the lip glosses. Everything's very feminine. Here's the eyeshadow palette. And then here's the blush quad. And then I love the blush quad, and this is why. Look at that brush. And then you flip it upside down, and then whoop, there goes your goat hair brush. And look, it has a little gem on it too. It says Jill Stewart. Isn't that beautiful? That's it. I hope you guys enjoy that. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.